everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have all the tools for you right here. So before we talk about some NHL action for April the 10th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of the games as we wind down the NHL regular season. Let's take a look at what we have in store. There are plenty of games to look at, but we're going to take a look at just four of them. The Boston Bruins and the Washington Capitals. The Bruins enter fifth in the Eastern Conference, and Washington is also in the Eastern Conference, and they are seeded number eight at the moment. Both teams are average status. You can see that uh, Boston is three and three, or excuse me, four and two over their last six, coming off of a loss, and Washington is three and three over their last six. The Bruins have been involved in high scoring games. Five of their last six games have been over the line, and Washington has been over the line in all six of their last six. So this probably is going to be a high-scoring affair. I'm going to bet the over on this. The score prediction has Washington by a 3-2 to two score with nearly 70% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows Boston is at plus 26, while Washington, who was up to plus 25 back on March 26th, is now at plus 15. If you take a look at the stability factor, how consistent are the teams performing with regards to their favorite underdog status? You can see here the volatility oscillator shows uh, Boston at plus 24. And Washington, really, they were at plus 8 back on, let's see when that was, January 22nd. But they are now down to plus 4, so they have been very inconsistent as of late. The way I think this is going to happen, though, I really do believe, though, that Washington is going to Get back on track as far as uh, playing better at home. This should be a home favorite. I believe that they will win this game in a game going over the line. The next game we want to look at is Buffalo Sabres and the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Sabres are average at the moment, having won three and lost three over their last six. Tampa Bay is average down, losers of their last three games. They need to get back on track heading into the postseason. Buffalo has already been eliminated from playoff contention, but Tampa Bay is sixth, and they are going to be heading into the playoffs, so they need to be playing their better hockey. So what do we think is going to happen here? Well, let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see Tampa Bay is at plus 22. They were at plus 27, or plus 28, uh, less than a week ago, and Buffalo has been up and down, and they are now at plus 10. The score predictor has Tampa Bay by a 4-2 to two margin of victory, with about 30% level of confidence. The stability factor, Tampa Bay is plus 21, while Buffalo is at plus 16, so they're both pretty consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. I do like, in the end, that Tampa Bay clearly the much better team. Tampa Bay is going to win this game. They back it off to a slow start, but they will cruise at the end, winning by probably at least two goals. The Kings and the Wild. Here's another interesting matchup. The Kings come in third in, or excuse me, sixth in the Western Conference, while Minnesota is third. Uh, the Kings are average down compared to average for Minnesota. The Kings are three and three over their last six, coming off a three to two loss to Calgary, while Minnesota is also uh, coming off of a loss, losing to Nashville six to two, and they are four and two over their last six games. If you take a look at the over/under, though, the Kings have been involved in games over the line in each of the last six games, while Minnesota has been over in three and under in three. The score prediction has Minnesota by a three to two score, but with only 31% level of confidence. So take that into consideration. Take a look at that as it gets closer to the game to see if that has changed. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams have been on the upward trend. Minnesota is at plus 24. Now that was as of a few days ago. You see that was April 4th. So take a look at that. A little bit later, see if that has changed and become a little bit more recent. And um, Los Angeles was at plus, excuse me, Minnesota was at plus 28, and they're also on an upward trend. How consistent are the two teams performing with regards to their favorite underdog stats? Again, pretty consistent. Minnesota at plus 17, Los Angeles at plus 10, but Los Angeles hasn't really gone above plus 10. Well, they did here plus 11 back on March 6th, but they're at plus 10 back on January 24th, so they really haven't gone up since then, so they've been a little bit more inconsistent as of late. The way I see this game is going to go, I believe that Minnesota is going to take control, win this game by a goal, perhaps into overtime, and I like this game going over the line. We have one more game we want to take a look at for this day, and that is the Winnipeg Jets and the Ottawa Senators. 
Winnipeg has averaged down coming off of three straight losses, and they are three and three over their last six. Ottawa is coming off of three straight wins, and they are burning hot. You can see that Ottawa has been involved in games going over the line in each of their last six high scoring games. Winnipeg three games over, three games under over their last six. The power ranking indicator shows that they're pretty neck and neck. Winnipeg with a slight 12 to 11 edge, but you see Ottawa on a big upward trend since the first of the month. Winnipeg still has a slim chance at the playoffs, though, and Ottawa has been eliminated. So this game is more important for Winnipeg. The score prediction has Ottawa by a 3 to 1 margin with about 48% level of confidence. Stability wise, you can see both these teams are nearly the same as far as the stability factor goes plus 14, plus 13. So pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. I like Ottawa's hot play to continue. I think they will come away with the win and a high scoring game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for April 10th for the NHL. Happy betting and we will see you again next time.